Okay, hello, we're gonna talk about how we use special triangles, special triangle ratios on how to fill in the rest of the triangle. So, what I want to notice here is this uh, little tool that I've got going on here. Uh, and Basically, it's a ratio that you need to kind of remember, and it's for a 30, 60, 90 triangle. Across from the 30, the 30 degrees is your shortest leg, so we just say that that's X. Uh, 60 is across uh, from the next longest leg because it's the next longest angle, so it's x root 3, which means x plus a little times a little bit more gives you a longer leg. And across from the 90 is our hypotenuse, which in any triangle we know is the longest. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this triangle here to help me with these triangles down here. So what we're going to take a look at is that I have a 30, a 60, and a 90 degree triangle. And what I want to do here is I want to calculate g. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these ratios right here, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to label them in this triangle in red. So, first things first, across from the 30 is this x, okay? Across from the 60 is x root 3. Well, in that place right now we have that it's 8, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and say, okay, well they're the same thing, so x times root 3 equals 8. And then what I have here for g is that it's 2x. So g is the same thing, so I'm just setting them equal to each other as 2x. Now, one of these is going to allow me to solve for x. So, g equaling 2x, that's not going to work because that has two, two unknowns. But if I take a look right here at this one, what I have is x equal to root 3. So all I did was use this, and I just have this little tool here for me to use. Um, so that we go along the way. So first off, that's what I've got from here. I'm going to go ahead and solve it. So I set up the equation x root 3 is equal to 8 and I go ahead and I solve for 8. Now there's two methods you can go here and I'll show you both of them in the space that I've got here. But essentially what I'm looking for is just to find x because then down here to find this hypotenuse which is g I just double whatever I find x to be. So, I will show you method one, and then I'll show you method two directly below it. You pick which one you like. So the first method would just be to go and do the mathematics as you normally would do it. So you're multiplying by x, so the natural thing here is to divide by the root three. So we're dividing by root three, dividing by root three. So now what that leaves us with is that x is equivalent to eight divided by root three. The problem with this is, is you cannot have a radical in the denominator of a fraction. So what we simply have to do here is called something called rationalize the denominator, which we need to find what completes this root. And what you need to do is multiply this 3 by another root 3. So I multiply it by another root 3, top and bottom. Okay, so multiply it by root 3. And what I get is x is now equivalent to 8 times root 3 divided by, now root 3 times root 3 is equivalent to 3. So, this is my final answer for what x is. It's not pretty whatsoever. Not at all. But I need to know what g is. So going back up to this original problem, g was just twice whatever x was. So, with that being said, if g is twice whatever x is, Here's x and it's 8 root 3, so all I'm going to do is 2 times 8 root 3 divided by 3. So g is now equal to 2 times 8, which is 16. So g, sorry, so what I did here was I did 2 times 8, which is 16, so I get g is 16 root 3 divided by 3. It's not nice, but guess what? I solved the problem and did what it asked me to do. I calculated the value for g. I'm going to leave this one an exact value. If you wanted to round it or get whatever is something else, you would just multiply this out and you would get an approximation. We're not going to do that here. On to the next one. So problem number two, we're going to calculate r. So r can be done the same way, um, except now I'm going to look at what this is. So Two, this says 12, so what we need to know is we're going to go ahead and use our triangle again. Okay, so here's my triangle, my, my tool that I currently have, and in red we're going to go ahead and set this up again. Now, across from the 30 is always what x is, okay? So, across from 30 here is the r, so r is equal to x, okay? Now, my hypotenuse, which is the other labeled, is going to be 2x, 
okay? And down below, across from the 60, so across from the 60 is x root 3, okay? Now the thing is I want to calculate r, so I need to go find the one that allows me to calculate something. This doesn't have anything equal to it for me to calculate, so I can't do that one. x equaling r doesn't help me, but 12 equaling 2x does, so I go down below, and I say 12 equals 2x, and all I simply do is divide by 2, divide by 2, and I get x equals 6. Once I have x equals 6, the nice thing is that r equals x, so then down here, r equals 6, and I've now calculated r. So on to another one that might be a little bit tougher here, okay, is this idea, again, we use this 30, 60, 90 degree triangle tool. Okay, and we're just going to set them equivalent to each other. So 60, across from the 60, is my x root 3. So in here, across from the 60 is x root 3. So 10 is that. So 10 equals x root 3. Okay, across from the 30 is my x. So y is equal to x. Across from my um, uh, 90 is my hypotenuse, and that is 2x. So what I now have here is I've got this ratio and I just pick the one that helps me solve for the x. So right here is the one that's going to help me solve for x. So I write out the equation. 10 equals x root 3. And then I go ahead and solve it. Now before I said over here in this first one that I would talk about uh, solving a different way. So before, notice what we did is we divided by the root. In this problem now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something called clearing the root. And how I'm going to clear the root is right off the get-go, I'm going to multiply it by root 3. So I must multiply the other side by root 3. Now what that does is lets me get rid of this root so I don't have to go through that step of rationalize the denominator. I'm kind of doing it here to start. So I get 10 root 3 is now equal to, now don't cross these out and saying that they cancel each other out. They don't. What they do do is they make 3. Root 3 times root 3 is 3, so I'm left with 3x here. Okay, so my last step here is to divide by 3 to solve for x, divide by 3, and there I have my final answer is x being equivalent to 10 over 3, root 3. Okay, so I can write it however I want. I can write it all as one expression like I did before in uh, problem G, where I wrote it all as one fraction, or I can write this as the fraction of the two numbers times root 3, however you want to do it. You can see answers multiple different ways. So I hope that helps and I hope you understand that using this tool right here is really what we're doing. We're just setting equivalent statements up and then we solve for x. So I recommend when doing problems that you make a little piece of paper and all I did on a blank piece of paper, I, I drew the triangle, I, I drew this up and all I do now is I cut it out of the paper and I just use it every time I have one of these, find which one is equal to which, set the statement and then solve for x. So I hope that helps with uh, whatever homework you're doing.